Welcome to the Master Cars Pro channel. Today we will talk about the problems and weaknesses of Nissan Qashqai. As evidence of just how highly we rate this second generation Nissan Qashqai, it was crowned what car? Car of the year in 2014. Back then our judges were impressed by the British uh, built Qashqai's low costs and first class levels of comfort, refinement, space and safety. The good news is that this still holds true as a used buy. The present Kashke was heavily facelifted in 2017 and some engine changes adopted in 2018. But the original engine range consisted of 1.5 liter and 1.6 liter diesels or if you prefer petrol power there was a cho uh, choice of uh, 1.2 liter and 1.6 liter turbocharged units. In both cases the smaller engines were actually preferable both in terms of cost and smoothness. A CVT automatic gearbox called Xtronic was available on the 1.2 petrol and 1.6 diesel. The facelift brought in a raft of uh, changes and eventually a new engine lineup. It now kicks off with the uh, 1.138 bhp, 1.3 liter petrol unit, and is followed by a 158 bhp version of the same engine. On the diesel side, there's a 113 bhp 1.5 liter engine as before. A 148 bhp 1.7 liter diesel is due to be introduced in uh, 2019. Of the trims uh, available on the later cars, entry level Vigia models came with their air conditioning and cruise control, uh, but misses out on lots of uh, desirable kit, including alloy wheels. Ascentra, Ascenta trim is certainly worth a look because it adds 17 in alloy wheels, uh, dual zone uh, climate control, automatic lights and wipers and various infotainment upgrades. Uh, however, we can certainly see why you'd be tempted by and connect uh, which adds privacy glass, bigger wheels and keyless entry. You get more safety kit too. Techna models are pricey and the bigger 19 n uh, alloy wheels ruin the right quality but it comes with part leather uh, seats and a panoramic uh, glass roof. Meanwhile Techna Plus gets you more luxurious Napa uh, leather seats. On the road the lower powered 1.3 uh, patrol strikes a happy compromise between smoothness and economy. It's brisk enough in everyday use and effectively replaces the previous 1.2 and 1.6 liter units, in neither of which impressed as they should. The 1.5 liter diesel is gutsy and delivers plenty of poke from low uh, revs, though there's the occasional gruffness to it. The 1.6 liter diesel on the older variants could also be a little gravely, although there is a noticeable increase in available show. The Kashke was developed on UK roads and you can tell by the way it strikes uh, such a good balance between ride comfort and handling. The steering is responsible, the body doesn't lean too much in corners and there's lots of grip. Yet the Kashke also rides bumps. A potholes with real composure, particularly if you avoid the largest 19 in wheels. It also does a really good job of shutting out wind and road noise, while newer uh, rivals such as the seat attack uh, have overtaken it. There's easily enough uh, room in the boot of the Kashke uh, for a folded baby buggy, a travel uh, cot uh, and a few uh, overnight bags uh, opt for an ascent uh, version or above. You also get boot uh, dividers that can be used to either se segment to uh, load space or raise the boot floor uh, for a flat loading lift. Drop the rear seats and you can fit uh, an adult's bicycle in, provided you first remove its uh, front wheel. If you plan on carrying taller passengers, it's worth choosing a model without the panoramic glass roof because this seats um, because this eats into headroom. That aside, there's just enough space in the rear uh, for three to sit by uh, side by side, or for two adults to travel in comfort. Up front, the Kashke feels very spacious and has enough storage for odds and ends. What's more, the quality of the dashboard is real step up from the first generation Kashke, giving 
this newer model like classic feel the Kashka's practical nature is backed up by full five star Eura and CAP crash testing rating although the restricted reader uh, visibility means it's worth choosing a model with parking sensors or a reversing camera if you're interested in finding a used Kashke or any of the other SUVs mentioned here head over to the used car buying pages to find lots of cars listed for sale at a great price up for an early 1.5 diesel and you get a uh, great fuel economy you should see uh, at least 50 mpg on average in daily use the past facelift 1.5 diesel returns a claim official 74.3 mpg in certain trims under the old NEDC tests and 53.3 mpg under the later WLTP tests while the best performing patrol in later cars is in the 1.3-140 with uh, 53.2 mpg under the NEDC test and 41.5 mpg under the later and more realistic WLTP test. Of the engines available before the tax alteration, so the best diesel is the, is the 1.5 which only emits 99 grams per kilometer. The 1.6 diesel uh, isn't too bad with 120 grams per kilometer, 132 grams per kilometers uh, with four wheel drive, same as the 1.2 uh, patrol. The worst is the 1.6 patrol at uh, 138 gram per kilometers. Road tax will vary on anything uh, registered before 1 uh, April 2017, depending upon the amount of. Uh, CO2 it produces anything registered after will incur a flat rate fee regardless of which engine you go for because of changes in the road tax system the current VED rate is 150 pounds a year to find out more about the current road tax uh, costs click here minor servicing from a Nissan costs uh, 229 pounds per uh, patrol Kashke or uh, to 69 pounds for a diesel one while major visits are 309 uh, pounds and 369 pounds uh, respectively it's not the cheapest car in terms of servicing which is required every 12 months but uh, but this is largely offset by Nissan throwing in 12 months European roadside assistance as part of the deal the Kashka is very a popular choice for families to so look out for scratches and scrapes where bulky items such as bikes and baby buggies have been lifted in and out of the boot as well as general wear to the rear seats. Bear in mind that the 1.5 diesel models will need a new Campbell every 5 years of uh, or 75,000 miles at a cost of about uh, 500 pounds so if the car you're looking for uh, uh, you're looking at is approaching this age and or millage make sure it's been done or factor the equivalent discount into the asking price all other engines uh, use a timing chain uh, while the second generation Kashke is not widely known to suffer from diesel particulate filter problems if choosing a diesel example it's still worth taking it on a long run once a week in order to minimize the chance of any issues arising. There's a risk that the bolted joints fixing the tow bar to the chases can loosen and ex in extreme circumstances detach from the car. This issue applies to cars built up uh, until October 2014 that are fitted uh, with the tow bar kit. The rear oxygen sensors can fail due to an electrical short on cars be uh, built between 10 uh, April 2014 and 7 May uh, 2016. Also, the ECU might not warn the driver of this failure, so Nissan dealers should reprogram the system to fix this and display a warning symbol. The right rear wheel arch protector on vehicles made up to 23 September 2016 might deform and rub against the right rear brake, uh, brake hose damaging it in the process and potentially causing a brake fluid leak. Affected vehicles are to have a modified inner liner uh, fitted 
the indicator in the uh, door mirror might not operate when the heated uh, rear skin is switched on. The recall applies to cash case uh, made between 12 June 2017 and 28 June 2017 and requires the indicators uh, in connection to be uh, inspected by a dealer and potentially reworked. Uh, VIN uh, plates fitted to some cash case uh, were labeled with incorrect gross combination weight. GCW uh, numbers, this recall affects cars with both the manual and CVT gearboxes and requires Nissan dealers to fit new uh, VIN uh, plates with the correct information printed on them. Uh, some owners of the 1.2 uh, Patrol have found that this engine consumes an excessive amount of oil, so check the dipstick uh, level to make sure it isn't low. If it is, that could indicate high oil use and potential neglect from the previous owners. There have been reported problems with rating timing chains on 1.2 liter patrol models under acceleration. Pay close attention to this on your test drive. We've also heard some concerns with the stop start uh, system not working as it should. The parking sensors can stop working or sound when you're not close to anything as a result of water ingress. The air conditioning can need regular regassing, so check. Uh, check that it works when you look at the car it regas isn't cheap because Nissan uses a more environmentally uh, friendly refrigerant a compressor can also fail in which case uh, you're looking at, at about 300 uh, pounds uh, for a new one some four-wheel drive models can sleep at a reverse jitter so check uh, this as a part of your test drive unfortunately not judging by your latest reliability survey it finished in 24th uh, place out of uh, 25 cars in the family suv class few of the cars we were told about had a higher proportion of faults uh, than the cash gave with 40 percent of them going wrong the battery and non-engine electrical systems caused the most problems followed by the brakes, exhaust, and interior trim. Most of the stick-stricken cars could be, uh, still be driven, but more than a quarter spent a week or longer in the garage. On the bright side, uh, four or five of them were fixed for free and no repair bills, top 300 pounds. Nissan has a brand finished in 27th place uh, out of uh, 31 manufacturers. All cash case, including entry-level Vigia trim, come with air uh, conditioning and a USB socket. However, you should upgrade to a Santa to get dual um, zone climate control, alloy wheels and a leather steering wheel. If you're buying one of the earliest pre-facelift cash case, we'd recommend the 1.5 diesel, particularly if you regularly drive on the motorway. However, after later uh, models, we prefer the 1.3-140 patrol engine, which blends smoothness and refinement with reasonable economy. Unlike the first generation of Kashke, the model reviewed here is in available as a plus 7 seater. If that's what you after, uh, you'll need to look at the Nissan X-Tray instead. Or if you prefer to buy a used car with the reassurance of a long manufacturer Warranty the Kia Sportage is an alternative uh, to the Qashqai. It's not as good to drive as the Nissan, but it's spacious and well equipped and comes with a 7 year, 100,000 mile warranty from new the Hyundai Tuscan uh, Tucson uh, with its 5 year unlimited millage warranty is also worth considering for the same reason. Although with both of these warranties, it's worth making sure you're happy with what's co covered in the later years as coverage can you reduce. The mechanically similar uh, Renault Kajler is another very credible Qashqai rival as well as being slightly cheaper to buy. Uh, if you need something that's more powerful and slightly larger on the side, have a look at the Mazda CX-5. Well, if you are the owner of this car, then please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your feedback that'll help viewers when choosing a car. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for attention. It isn't much work for you to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.